Hello and welcome back to another episode of Temple Time. Today I want to talk about probably the most frequently asked question I get all the time and that is which goddess should I work with? Um, <laughs> and it's such a hard thing to answer. Um, so I kind of want to dive into that today and talk about different deities and how long to work with them, what they mean, their symbols, their archetypes, and go into all of that. So hopefully this will give you some clarity um, around, you know, which goddess or god to incorporate into rituals, your practice, your devotion, your spellcraft, whatever it is that you are calling on a deity for, right? So I always ask, when somebody asks me, which goddess should I work with? And I always ask them, which ones do you feel called to? Um, you're going to probably be called to like a, a certain culture or pantheon, um, you know, whether that's Celtic, Norse, Greece, ancient, like Sumerian or even Asian or Egyptian, Indian. There's a huge variety, right? Mayan. I mean, it's all different. So first start there. Which which culture are you um, or even goddess, right? Maybe you already have a particular goddess that you're like, I'm kind of interested in working with her, but I really don't know much about her. Start there start there and um, see which ones speak to you. See which ones kind of, you know, you're curious about and follow that thread, right? Follow that curiosity and do your research. Always, I always start there, whether I can find a book on the goddess or even like a blog post online. Um, or one of my favorite things is Pinterest too. I mean, there's so many just like, there's so many great artists, first of all, depicting these deities and, um, but there's so much information online now that you can easily do um, a, a web search and find more about her and her myth um, and, and see what it is that's calling you to her, right? Um, I obviously work with archetypes in all of my work, so I often ask, like, okay, <laughs> which archetype does this goddess represent, and why is it that I'm being drawn to them? Because there might be a point where you're like, I need to set boundaries, I need to you know, honor myself. I need to feel empowered and strong. And maybe you're feeling called like you're drawn to the archetype of the warrior, right? So then you're going to want to work with a warrior goddess, whether that's Athena or Kali or Durga. Um, and you can kind of go down that road, right? Or maybe you're wanting more like self care, sink into your like sensuality, kind of explore pleasure and work with joy and just really be the embodiment of love, then you're going to want to work with a lover goddess. You're going to work want to work with Freya or Aphrodite or Venus or Inanna, Astarte, Ishtar, like all of those, right? So start there. Which goddess is calling you? Do some research, right? And then give yourself time to just get to know her. Um, get to know her myths, her stories, and also her symbols. Oftentimes, whenever I start working with a new goddess, <laughs> um, I start to see her symbols everywhere, like popping up. Like she's kind of like reciprocating back to me, right? Like I'm doing the research, I'm working with her, I'm getting to know her, and then she like starts showing up in my life. Um, this happened a few months ago inside the monthly goddess alignment I shared with my patrons. Like when we started working with Freya, I saw cats everywhere. <laughs> like they just it seemed to like swarm my like in swarm into my neighborhood. Like <laughs> they were climbing on my roof. Like I saw them walking the walls like um <laughs> around my land like it was just it was comical but I mean that's how the universe the goddess always seems to um speak to us right she's she's the universe is always sending us signs and so we just have to kind of pay attention for those and when I was working with the more again I started to see crow feathers and I actually called on her and I said listen like I need some clarity I need to know you're here and I took a walk by myself out into the desert and this is another story that I've shared before but um 
and I found two black feathers on my walk within like 10 minutes. So it was, it was just like that reaffirming moment. Like, okay, I'm on the right path. I know she's listening. I'm, I know she's here to support me, protect me, like whatever it is. Right. So I always, um, pay attention to what the goddess represents, not only her archetype, but like her signs and symbols and like colors and how she feels. I, this is going to be different for everybody, but I, but I tend to like sink into like that, that energy of the goddess. So all of the goddesses that we talk about, all of the goddesses that we discuss inside the goddess alignment, um, I consider them just one facet, like one face of the goddess, of the divine feminine, right? Like there's, there's God, the goddess, but then all of these different stories, all of these different myths, all of these different archetypes are just one expression of the divine feminine, right? You can, you can be a warrior and a lover and a mother, right? But you're going to have three different expressions of the goddess, but they're all one. They all represent really the same thing, if that makes sense. Um, they all represent the divine feminine. Um, but to me, they feel different energetically, right? The warrior is going to feel a lot more fierce <laughs> than the nurturing, soft, gentle mother, right? Or like the wild, free, liberating, wild woman. Um, they're all different. And then so f once you figure out which goddess you're called to, what she represents, right? Just kind of step back and like let her kind of guide you, give yourself time um, to get to know her. And that's why like inside the monthly goddess alignment, we focus on one goddess every month. So we, we go like a full calendar month to really get to know her, to understand her myths. Like, um, because I know I've had so many women reach out to me, like I'm called at this one and this one and this one and this one. And, and that's wonderful. And that's great. And maybe there's a common thread linking all of those deities, right? That like you need to explore something within yourself, like what those deities represent, but give yourself time because it can get overwhelming. There are so many different, um, cultures, different myths, different goddesses that you can explore, right? Different faces of the, of the divine that you can go down and, um, you know, really sink into, but give yourself time. Um, on my own personal journey, I started out just pulling tarot cards or oracle cards of the goddesses. Um, I have a couple, um, well, I have my own, the goddess affirmations deck and then the goddess guidance oracle deck. This is by um, Doreen Virtue and then the Goddess Power Oracle deck. These are the two that I started with until I made my own. But um, these these just help me kind of like be introduced to the goddess, right? Like I just sat down and said, okay, like what goddess needs to come to me today? What lesson? What, what do I need to know, right? And some days it was like, okay, like I don't really feel a connection, but that's okay. Like I still learned more about the goddess and her where she was from and what she represents and there's going to be different ones too like there's we're coming up on ostara soon like at the spring equinox and ostara is an actual goddess um that represents spring and rebirth and fertility and you know keep that in mind too there's also seasonal goddesses there's the norse goddess scotty who who's the goddess of winter so you might feel called to work with goddesses at a different time during the year too, because they represent different things. Um, there's also like different elemental goddesses. So if you're really looking for like an earth-based deity, right? Or a fire deity, um, or even there's also water deities and there's also sky goddesses, right? That represents the element of air. So it just depends, right? Like which elements are you being called to? Which cultures are you being called to? And, you know, I just encourage anybody to just take your time, right? There's no rush. Like, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> um, you know, you might feel called to just, like, look into her one day, right? You might just spend, like, one day with her and you're like, okay, like, 
you're moving on. And I've also had other goddesses that I've worked with for years because they just constantly show up. And, you know, to me, they're, they're part of my spirit team. They're, they're part of my guides, like, um, goddesses that I call on frequently, um, because I've developed that relationship over time with them. Um, I had a friend once tell me she was really drawn to one specific goddess and she got like a little statue of her and then it like fell off the mantle and broke and she was like she took that as like okay I'm not meant to work with her right now at this time and you know what like that might happen too um there are some goddesses that are gonna show you tough love a lot of them, I feel like. <laughs> I guess a lot of the dark goddesses that I tend to work with, um, you know, they're going to show you your path. They're going to say, hey, I can help you. I can support you. Um, but you have to do the work. Ultimately, it's up to you, right? It's up to you to, like, you have free will. You have choice, right? Whether you want to do something or not. Um, and the goddess is just there to, as a guide. She's there to guide you, to offer you advice, to help you gain clarity around a situation. But it's ultimately up to you to do the work, pursue the things that you want to, um, because it's very much a co-creative endeavor. No matter what you're doing when you're working with a goddess, I feel like it's very much co-creative, right? She's kind of there as like the source of wisdom, right? Keeper of the mysteries. She is the supreme. I mean, she's the ultimate. She's she's the divine feminine, right? She's the divine. And, you know, us being in like on earth living this human life it's it's this balancing act right between being human and then connecting with our own divinity and it's it's this constant dance right it's just this spiral and um obviously we go through phases right in our life we go through seasons we go through changes and whoever you work with it's going to change um it always changes for me there are always seasons that i go through where i'm like I need more self-love. I need more self-care. I need, you know, to feel worthy or, and that's when I pick a lover goddess or, you know, I've got deadlines and I, like, I need to stay focused and on track. And, um, to me, that is like the archetype of the huntress, like goal driven, like, and to me, that's, that's Artemis or Diana. So it's, you know, start with what you have start by learning about her, um, her symbols, what she represents. And then, you know, look at those, look at those stories and, and see what stands out, right? What's drawing you to her? What is it? What is it about her that intrigues you? Um, and you can pray to her, you can just talk to her, um, you can invoke her and call her in. Um, you, I mean, you can leave her offerings. The sky's the limit, honestly. There is no wrong way to work with a goddess. Everyone's path is going to be different, right? Everyone's rituals, everyone's routines are going to be different. Um, but yeah, just start with what you, where you are, right? And just take your time. I think that's that's the biggest thing of all. Like just take your time getting to know her. Like as if you're like talking to a best friend almost, you know. Um, hand over all your worries, your, your troubles, your um, whatever it is that you're dealing with. And, and then give that over to her, ask her for help, and then see what unfolds. Um, I mean, that's, that's kind of the beauty of it. And you're not going to know what's coming and it's going to be unexpected and it's not going to always look the way that you thought it would or the way that you want it to. Um, but I mean, that's, that's this wonderful, divine, human dance that we're doing. Um, that's co-creation. So 
I'm hoping this answers that question. I know it's probably not what you wanted to hear, but um, just just follow the breadcrumbs, right? If you want to know which God is to work with, just follow the bed breadcrumbs or just put it out there like to the universe, to the divine, like, hey, like I need some guidance. Who can help me? Right. And just start paying attention to what signs, what symbols are coming up. Um, maybe you'll see like a, a pen or a blog post or somebody posts on social media about a specific goddess and then you keep seeing her name again and again. Um, that's happened to me a lot. <laughs> and it's like, okay, there's something here, right? There's those breadcrumbs that I need to follow. Um, yeah, and just see where it leads you. And I've all, and I wanna add too, cause I have, I've worked, there's been several goddesses that have gotten me through hard times, um, you know, and then it's like once I've basically they came into my life to help me heal something that and grow or transform in a way that I needed to. Um, and then that that was it. Right. Like I haven't really called on her since it might be kind of like a one and done relationship, too. Right. Not all of the goddesses that you work with are always going to stick around. But I think that they all have messages. They all have wisdom that they can share with us. Um, and it's up to you to be receptive to that. Right. So, yeah, keep that in mind. I mean, it might it might maybe she did. Maybe <laughs> she breaks her own statue and it falls or whatever. And you can take that for how up however you interpret it, but, um, yeah, or it might not be your time to work with that goddess if you're like meeting some resistance or, um, yeah, it might just be like a one and done thing. Like I said, or you might have a lifelong commitment and relationship with her too. Right. Um, I know a lot of, um, people that have like patron, um, goddesses or gods or saints, um, you know, that they call on often. And again, it's going to look different for everybody. So it's kind of not a very specific answer, but, um, yeah, follow the breadcrumbs <laughs> and see, see where it lands you. So if there's any goddesses right now that are calling you that you want to learn more about, um, leave a comment below. Let me know. I love to see kind of, I feel like there's always a collective goddess that's like a lot of people are feeling drawn to at one moment. So I'm curious to see what unfolds. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.